Are you sick of living in the shadow of someone else? Need some help learning to love yourself and tap into your unique strengths or embrace your leadership potential so you can thrive in your life. This is Empower with Nancy. Let's start the show. Oh. entrepreneur, a mom, a boss, and a wife, and you feel so overwhelmed where you are carrying so much on your shoulder and you feel that you're on your own island and you're not getting the help. You feel like you have to be Wonder Woman at all given times. And it feels exhausting at times, right? And as a mother, as myself, a mother, a, um, a wife, sister, boss, it gets very daunting at times. And how do you get through the day-to-day, the day-to-day struggles that we all go through? That self-talk that basically tells you that you can't do it anymore, that you're giving up, what keeps you moving forward? Well, I'm going to explain that to you. What keeps me, myself, moving forward is having a positive mindset. Having the positive mindset and not allowing this self-talk to come into my mind, to control it, to take over my life, to make the wrong decisions that I know are not the right decisions. And treat it as though that you have an intruder coming into your home that is going to come in and steal your your items in your home, your belongings, everything in your home, or maybe gonna go and try to harm your family because they're they're going in there for a purpose, right? You're not going to allow them to do so. So it's the same thing when you have this negative self-talk that you're not good enough, that you um, are just, there's no purpose. And then you're constantly second guessing yourself. You're saying you can't do it and you just want to wait. You just want to give up. So when you have that negative self-talk, pretend that it is this intruder coming into your mind and controlling your day-to-day your life, and so much more. Don't allow this negative self-talk to come in to your mind and control it. One of the most important things is is daily habits. Do you wake up in the morning frantically, moving fast, and hurry up and getting ready, and just running out that door to get to work? And how do, how do you feel when you do that? You feel frustrated. You feel not accomplished. So when you wake up in the morning, you want to make sure that you have a simple daily habits. And those simple daily habits are making your bed, getting ready, getting ready. And as a, as a woman, when I get ready, my daily habit is When I wake up in the morning, I put my feet on the floor and I'm thanking God and my higher power for another day. I make my bed. I get up and do exercise, be it a walk, Peloton, or doing simple um, exercises from YouTube. I take a shower. I get ready. I put my makeup on and I dress for success. I don't care if you're working from home. The last thing that I put on is my power heels. My power hills make me feel completed and ready to go. So what is your powerful outfit that makes you feel phenomenal? It might be putting on your tennis shoes or your gym clothes or what have you. Whatever makes you feel empowered and fulfilled is the most important thing to start your day. I say I journal every day, affirmations every day. And that is part of my coaching as a life and business coach. That's just one part 
of how I start my day. So it's important. How are you going to start your day? Are you going to start your day on a positive note, a negative note? You get to choose that. Are you going to feel empowered and fulfilled with everything that you do? And if you don't feel empowered and fulfilled, ask yourself why. We all have the choice to live the life that we want to live. What is your choice? Feel empowered again. Feel fulfilled. There's two things that are very important in our lives. It's attitude and communication. Do you have the attitude that is positive? Do you have a negative attitude? If you're going to have a negative attitude, you're going to have a negative day. If you're going to have a positive attitude, you're going to have a positive day. If you're going to communicate condescending, belittling, the communication is not going to go well. If you're going to have an open mind and listen and respond accordingly with gratitude, inspiring to one another, then you're going to have a good conversation. Again, you get to choose the life that you want to live in all aspects.